In the previous edition of Entertainment News, we brought you a report of the Vice President Yemi Oshibaja's meeting with key stakeholders within the entertainment fold and highlighted in particular comments by acclaimed actress Omotola Jaladia Kende, where she suggested some of the reasons why Nollywood appears to be stagnating in its development. Now, she gave instances on how Hollywood bigwig Ben Stiller and some of the top names in Hollywood have quietly visited the country and have left unimpressed. After the event, we met with a multiple award-winning actress and she explained further why, for all the local glory Nollywood ascribes to itself, global producers and productions are yet to take us seriously and how the bulk eventually stops at the table of the government to move the industry to the next level. Kira. Like, you know, the treaties. You can't, private sector can't do treaties. Um, the private sector can't do um, um, tax grants, you know, and, um, and rebates, you know, for production companies. When a Universal wants to come to Nigeria, they, they won't deal with the private sector, they'll deal with the government. Funny enough, that's just how it works. It's like the, the city of Atlanta, for example, has a 50% um, um, tax break for, uh, for uh, filmmakers that come to shoot in, in, um, in Atlanta. Okay, um, these are now states that are acting like, in America, that are acting like countries, if you know what I mean. So Nigeria does not have anything of that nature. So filmmakers are looking at their, at their uh, production companies and the opportunities are um, uh, given to them all around the world. They're looking at India. India gives 35%, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, you know, and so many other places, you know, Denmark, you know, France, you know. And so why would they bring their productions here? What, what do you have to offer them? Look, the movie industry is a large industry. You're going to be moving as many, a, a very serious production moves as many as 200 people. And they come in and they find out that at the end of the day, someone is asking them for bribes. They're thinking already, of all the people they are bringing, their security concerns, um, there's no power, you know. I mean, they're coming with greed, they're coming with lights, you know, and all of that stuff. Um, we, as Nollywood people, were still shooting on the streets and area boys are disturbing us. Lagos State is known for area boys um, that are practically political talks. We're not serious, we're not ready. You know, so he said that he said um, countries like India and all of that don't have everything, and yet, you know, but they have enough. <laughs> That's the point. We don't have to have everything, we have to have enough to attract international investment.